Good morning, y'all. Cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Listen, in my kitchen today, I'm going to do a rendition of Miss Paula Dean's um, uh, potato soup. And um, it's the easiest potato soup I've ever done. Um, I'm going to take, um, since my guys don't love uh, onions, I'm going to saute mine just a little bit uh, until they're soft. And I actually have a little bit of bake, uh, sausage grease because the imaginary farmer loves sausage in the morning. And so he has fried some sausage. So I'm going to put those into the sausage grease while we're putting the rest of it together. I'm going to put that on medium. I'm also going to add, and I'm going to post a picture of this recipe. I got it from Pinterest. I looked through all of Miss Paul's cookbooks that I have, and I couldn't find it. So... I just looked on Pinterest. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna add a one clove of minced garlic to mine. Y'all can do what you want to do with it, but I will post a picture of the basic recipe. And listen, uh, you people that the people the people that regularly follow, y'all think it's funny when I say I wash my hands. But just last night, somebody popped on there and said you need to wash your hands. I'm like, Jesus, Lord, help me. Anyway, for y'all, for you regular people, y'all know better. Like, y'all know that I don't not wash my hands. Or I'm either wiping them off on a, on a washcloth or something. Anyway, I think it's, it's almost comical now, to be honest. give those a judge and um so while we're waiting on that we're gonna put together I, I've sprayed my pot my uh, crock pot and I'm sure you can do this in an insta pot too I just don't have an insta pot so you'll have to kind of Lord gauge it to your liking if you have an insta pot you need to look that up because I don't know the answer to it because I don't have one anyway I'm gonna dump one bag of frozen chunk hash browns like in the cubed uh, consistency. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Not a lot. Oh Lord, I forgot to get my soup out. Honey, will you grab that? Oh, I'll get it. Hold on, I forgot my soup. I'm going to put in some soup. And a can of cream of mushroom, cream, cream of chicken. And some chicken broth. There we go. <clears throat> Look, I think the recipe calls for one small, chick small one of these chicken cream chicken soup. But I'm going to use what I got, which is the large one, which is fine because we'll eat on it. Let me grab my uh, can opener. Sorry guys, I thought I had it all together. It's snowing here today, y'all. Like a lot. And so this to me is one of our family snow foods, so to speak, or uh, winter storm soups. I always make this when there's a winter storm of any kind but I wanted to go ahead and get it in the pot because, and I'm gonna put this garlic in with this onion, because we, you know, if we lose power, we'll have it. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'm gonna put, I think the recipe calls for two cans of chicken broth and one can of cream of chicken soup. I'm gonna put my chicken broth in here so it rinses that can out. go. Okay, now to that, let me give that just a little stir. To that, I'm going to add my sauteed onions. It doesn't say to saute them in the recipe, but I did because if you saute them, 
and make them, you know, just caramelize a little bit softer. Um, my family doesn't mind eating them like that. So you adjust it to your family's wants and needs as, you know, you need to. Anyway, I'm gonna give that a stir. And then I'm gonna put a block of cream cheese. Miss Paula is known for her cream cheese and butter for sure. And then I'm gonna add a half a cup of sharp uh, shredded cheddar to the top. And then I'm gonna cook it on low and slow for four hours. So, um, and I may add, I don't know, I may add bacon bits to mine or maybe some sausage. I don't know, but you can do that. It doesn't call for that. I normally put bacon bits in mine. Or you can garnish it with bacon bits. You can garnish it with green onions, whatever. Okay? All right. Now, let me put my half a cup of soup, I mean half a cup of uh, shredded cheddar, and then this will be ready to go in the crock pot. I'm going to eyeball this. And that's how I'm going to do my soup for today. Okay? So, enjoy that. Cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. A rendition of Paula Dean's um, crock pot potato soup. Make it a great one.